rewrite the radical expression using rational exponents and simplify. So here we have the fourth root of 5a to the fourth b to the 12th power. And the key thing to realize here is the fourth root of something is the same thing as that something to the 1 fourth power. Or in particular, the or in general, the nth root of something is the same thing as that something to the 1 over n power. So we can just apply that over here. The fourth root of all of this is equal to 5a to the fourth b to the 12th power, all of that to the 1 fourth power. And then we also know if we take the product of things and then raise them to some exponent, that's the same thing as raising each of the terms in the product to the exponent first, or each of the things that we're taking the product of to that exponent, and then, and then multiplying. So let's do that. So 5, so this is the same thing as 5 to the 1 fourth power times a to the fourth to the 1 fourth power times b to the 12th to the 1 fourth power. Now, 5 to the 1 fourth, I don't know what that is, so I'll just keep that as the cube root. Well, we could leave it as 5 to the 1 fourth, and that's not, not simplified. Or we could just rewrite it again as the fourth root, fourth root of 5. a to the fourth to the 1 fourth power. If you raise something to a power and then another power and raise that to another power, that's the equivalent of raising the a to the 4 times 1 fourth power. So let me just write that down. This is so times a to the 4 times 1 fourth power. And then finally, this right over here, using the same exact exponent property, this is b to the 12th times 1 fourth power. And so all of this simplifies to, and I'll change the order here, so you have the, q, the fourth root, the fourth root of 5, and then you have a to the fourth times 1 fourth power. So that's just, this simplifies to a to the first power, which is really just the same thing as a. So that's just a. And then we have b to the 12th time one, 12 times 1 fourth power. Well, 12 times 1 fourth is just 3. So that's b to the third power. So it's a, b to the third power, times the fourth root of 5.